I wanted to discuss why I'm walking back my position on dynamic and modern controllers. When this game was originally announced, I was very critical of how it looked, as well as what was going to be in the game. And one of the things I didn't like was the modern controllers. Well, Capcom's taken it to the next level now and they've introduced dynamic controls. So what dynamic controls are is basically you press one button and you basically get all of this. So you can do all of this madness that you're seeing on the screen now by pressing a button. And I can understand why people would see that and think, I do not want this in my Street Fighter game. This is going to water down the experience. I'm going to get beaten by spammers. Well, you don't have to worry because this is offline only. So you won't be running into this in a ranked environment. You're not going to get players entering ranked mode, pressing one button and beating you. It's not going to be allowed. As far as I'm aware, that's what they've said. So people are going to get to experience this, experience this offline, which I think is a great thing. The reason I think it's a great thing is because fighting games are notoriously very cool looking and notoriously very hard to play. Even very basic ones become very difficult to play as the game gets older and older. And I know a lot of kids that like Street Fighter, but they just can't get to grips with it and they get frustrated and they turn it off. They can't do all of the cool moves they see on YouTube. The reason I'm walking back what I'm saying is because I went to a video game convention and Mario Kart was there. And Mario Kart made me change my mind completely on dynamic controls being in the game and uh, modern controls. The reason is, is because a lot of the parents were able to figure out how to play Mario Kart, but these little kids could not put one and two together. They couldn't put, they couldn't go left from right. They didn't know what they were doing and they weren't having any fun. And the minute the people working there turn on the assisted controllers, although the kids didn't know that the computer was basically steering the car for them, they were having a great time and they wanted to keep on playing. I saw a bunch of kids that didn't know they were assisted controls and nobody turned it on for them and they put the controls down almost straight away and that happened consistently throughout me paying attention to what was going on and while I was standing there I was I was thinking about Street Fighter 6 and I was thinking well they just released that trailer for dynamic controllers maybe this is going to get more people playing and the more these kids grow up on Street Fighter because fighting games tend to have like a well fighting games this big tend to have like a five to seven year lifespan uh, even a game that wasn't as well received as Street Fighter uh, 5 has lived on for a very long time and Tekken 7 is still about. So my thinking was that these kids are not going to harm anyone online by mashing one button and winning because they won't be able to go online and do that. But they can sit in their living room and play with their closest friend or their sister or brother and enjoy the game and enjoy the flashiness and the combos. And as they get older, they'll think, wait a second, there's this whole other world for me to discover. So that's really what I wanted to say about it because I've seen a lot of people push back against dynamic controllers and modern controllers. And I think for players like myself, and I'm assuming most people watching this video, we're not gonna be affected by kids mashing one button on us. It's just not gonna affect us. There's too many systems in this game to that will allow you to stop someone from mashing some nonsense on you. Now, I'm not saying there's not gonna be some abusable stuff, but again, they're not going to be going online and ruining your experience. They're going to be playing offline with their friends. And at the very worst, you might go to your cousin's house and they embarrass you in front of your uncle and auntie. And nobody wants to listen to you when you say that they're using modern or dynamic controls. No one's going to care that they're doing a one button Hadouken. That's the worst that could happen with uh, for you. But in the interest of Street Fighter 6 and fighting games like it sticking around for as long as possible, I say do more of this. I think Dragon Ball Fighters had the right idea when they did the one button auto combos that gave like a flashy cutscene and a super move by doing the, I think the stronger auto combo. I think they had the right idea. I think it's fine for kids and lesser players to be able to do flashy combos without putting any work in because it opens up a gateway for them to discover game, the game on another level. I think Mortal Kombat should do this in the future, although Mortal Kombat is uh, a game that is should exclusively be played by adults kids are not supposed to be playing it so i don't I don't know if it matters that much for it i think if they put a dynamic controller uh, in mortal kombat people might go why it's an 18 plus but you know what i was saying basically like this is a good thing at the end of the day we want more people playing street fighter 6 we want more kids uh, indulging in it the same way they indulge in fortnite because ultimately it will make, make the game stick around for longer the kids are more likely to want to buy the skins and all that and you know ask mummy and daddy for the the extra pocket money to upgrade their Ryu or whatever so i think it's a good thing i really do think it's a good thing i've seen a lot of people push back on it but after seeing those kids playing mario kart a game as as, as simple as mario kart 
where it's as simple as drive and turn. You don't even have to use items or anything and they couldn't even get that right. And the assisted controllers made it such a fun experience for them. Can't think of a good reason to remove them or advocate to have them removed. So that's really all I wanted to say on that guys. I think it's a great addition. I'm, I'm actually quite happy to see that in there. I think my little cousins or like my, my friends or whatever that don't really play fighting games that much or you know even you know you get some girls that want to sit down and play with you and they can't because they're, they're so bad at the game and you ain't got enough time to teach them and you don't want to let up on them because you know you got to teach them girls a lesson I think it's a good thing they'll finally feel like they're doing some sick combos they'll leave the experience feeling fulfilled and everyone's a winner so you know, hopefully I hopefully this drives more sales that's what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to translate to more sales and more people wanting to pick up the game. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going to make no difference whatsoever. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the recent uh, subscribers and the views. I know I'm like very temperamental with my channel, but I am trying to be more consistent. I've got another channel called Midnight Rubbish, which I'm very consistent on right now. I'm trying to get that monetized. So if you haven't subscribed over there, Help me hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm about 150 subscribers away. I'd really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, take care and peace.